The Foundry VTT D&D 5e Character Sheet. It's serviceable and lets you store all the information you need for your D&D characters, but it could use with some improvements. Luckily, you and I are not the only people who've had this very thought. Let me show you four Foundry VTT modules that modify the visuals, layout, and usability of the D&D 5e character sheet. Also, stick around until the end of the video for a tip on making using character sheets that extra bit better, even if you're just using the default character sheet. Hi there, my name is Fondu, your VTT wizard, and I have over 300 hours using Foundry VTT. On this channel called Dice and Easy, I give you VTT tutorials and a daily TTRPG memes as YouTube shorts, so if that sounds like your thing, hit that subscribe button down there. Before we get started, I want to give a huge thank you to Halarkin for the very first super thanks on this channel. I hope I said your name right there. Thank you so much for your support. This helps me get that much closer to my goal of doing content creation full time. If you'd like to show some extra appreciation like Halarkin did, you can do so by pressing the thanks button below the video. Okay, let's go through the foundry setup I have before jumping into the modules themselves. I'm using the latest stable release of Foundry version 10, and do note that there was a new stable version of Foundry version 10 released on June 26th. I cannot guarantee that these modules work on other Foundry versions. These character sheet modules are only going to be for the D&D 5e game system and most likely won't work with other systems. Links for all the modules will be in the description box below. Also remember to turn on the module in your Foundry world, otherwise it won't work. With that out of the way, let's jump into the video. If you've played D&D 5e in Foundry VTT, I'm sure you're familiar with the default D&D 5e character sheet. While it's functional and gets the job done, I think the following things are its major shortcomings. Firstly, I'm not entirely happy with how the information on the character sheet is laid out. It can be hard to find a particular piece of information on the Attributes tab because a lot of information is given the same size indicating similar level of importance. Secondly, the character sheet is very cramped. This further exacerbates the problem of finding information you need because all the information is packed so closely to each other that you easily miss that one particular piece of information you're looking for. Lastly, the usability in some areas is a bit cumbersome. For example, if you want to roll an ability check, you need to know to click the name of the ability, for example, strength, and then choose which type of roll it is, or if you want to know if you have a piece of gear equipped or a spell prepared, it is only denoted by this small symbol that is very easy to miss. Now that I've described the problems that I have with the default D&D 5e character sheet in Foundry, let me show you how to change it. First, you will of course need to install and activate one of these modules mentioned in this video, then open up any character sheet Click the cog with sheet written next to it, click the this sheet drop down, choose the new character sheet and click save sheet configuration. This will then change your character sheet to the new module that you installed. If you're the GM, this menu also lets you choose what the default character sheet is so that all actors will use that sheet by default. Okay, now we know how to change the sheet, so let me show you the first of these alternative character sheets. Tidy 5e is, as the name implies, a tidier version of the D&D character sheet. This module gives you an alternative D&D 5e character sheet which is more focused and user-friendly, in my opinion. It places information like abilities and armor class at the top into a big section so that they are easy to find quickly. Abilities are set to the left in their own section with things like senses and languages located below them. You might notice that the right side has a huge empty area and you might be confused why this is. Well, that area is there for favorited elements so if you have weapons, features, or spells that you use frequently, you can favorite them by clicking the little bookmark icon in their respective sections and then they will all appear in this area for easy access. When it comes to usability, Tidy 5e makes some needed improvements in my mind. It clearly denotes in green when a piece of gear is equipped or a spell is prepared. On top of that, it also adds separate mod and save buttons under abilities so you can quickly roll the relevant one without the need for an extra pop-up window. Lastly, it also adds a bunch of handy buttons around your character portrait which allow you to do a short or long rest, add exhaustion points, and track inspiration. This isn't of course an exhaustive list of all the features in this module as it packs more than I have time to mention here. For example, a brand new journal tab for each character sheet. This is the character sheet that I personally use in all of my D&D 5e games and I think it is fantastic. 
check tidy 5e out if you want a tidier and easier to use character sheet. Obsidian is by far the most stylish D&D 5e character sheet you'll find for Foundry. This module offers a sleek, dark design for your character sheets that is sure to blow your players away. You'll now find all your character information on a single page except for spells, equipments, features, etc. being in their own tabs on the bottom right hand side. You might notice that this layout is similar to D&D Beyond and indeed this character sheet is clearly heavily inspired by the D&D Beyond character sheet with similar icons, buttons, and layout. But something that is unique in this character sheet is a section to easily set conditions for your character and your personality traits, ideals, bonds, and flaws, and other notes available on the same page. Obsidian also offers customizability. For example, you're able to customize the ability used for any of the skills you have, and you can even add new custom skills to the skill list. There are other customization options offered, so if you want to check those out, the link to the module in the description below as usual. The only warning I have for this module is that the character sheet requires a lot of screen space, so if you have players with small screens, this might not be the best character sheet for them. Other than that, Obsidian is a gorgeous character sheet with style and pizzazz. Check it out. Ever wish your Foundry VTT UI looked like an RPG video game? Well, dark RPG styled UI has you covered. Uh, that's quite the mouthful. It's important to note that this module doesn't only change how your character sheets look, but also changes the look of the macro bar and all the right hand side menus in Foundry. It gives them all this dark painted RPG look. For the character sheet, it doesn't actually change the layout of the sheet, but merely changes the look to the aforementioned darker style. So all of your character sheet elements will be in the same place as in the default character sheet, but they will just have a different look, a lot cooler of a look, in my mind. So if you want to keep the layout of the default character sheet, but want a darker, cooler look to your character sheet, check out Dark RPG Styled UI. I know many of you use D&D Beyond for handling your characters outside Foundry and might really like the character sheet over there. Well, now you can get the same sheet layout for Foundry with D&D Beyond Character Sheet for 5e. This module essentially replicates the character sheet layout from D&D Beyond by having a single page sheet with tabs for actions, inventory, etc. in the middle. However, the layout is not 100% identical to D&D Beyond due to some size restrictions on Foundry's side. For example, the ability scores have been relegated to the top of the sheet and the skills and saving throws have been swapped around to fit into Foundry's restrictions. In addition to all of this, the character sheet has these red outlines around all the separate elements to clearly separate them from each other. I should mention that there is also another module that aims to replicate the D&D Beyond character sheet called Compact D&D Beyond 5e Character Sheet, which I originally wanted to feature in this video. But at the time of the recording, it is broken. The D&D Game System 2.2.1 update broke it as there were some big underlying changes in that update to the D&D system. Let's hope it gets fixed in the near future. So if you want a character sheet similar to the one in D&D Beyond, this is the module for you. Now if only there was a way to import D&D Beyond characters to Foundry. Well. There is, and I made a tutorial on just how to do that. You can see a link to it in the top right hand corner now. Okay, now to the extra thingy I promised at the start of the video. You know how it's really nice to track resources like rage usage or sorcery points in the custom resource trackers on your character sheet, but these trackers aren't actually linked to the resources themselves? Well, with Link Item and Resource D&D 5e, you can link the two up. This means that if you change the resource on the resource tracker, it will also be reflected in the feature itself. To do this, go to the feature item, etc. that you want to link up, right click it, select edit, and go to the details tab. Here under limited uses, there will be a new header called override actor resource. Choose the correct resource and now the two will be linked up. Before you start, yes, I know the Foundry Core already allows this kind of linking, but it's only partial. In Foundry Core, if you link the two, it's only one directional, meaning that if you use the feature, the resource tracker will get updated, but if you update the resource tracker, that update will not go through to the feature. With this module, when you update the amount of the resource tracker, it will also be reflected in the feature. Pretty neat, right? Okay, let's recap. For a sleek and tidy character sheet, get 
Tidy 5e. Obsidian offers hands down the most gorgeous character sheet for Foundry VTT. If you've ever wanted your Foundry experience to feel like an RPG video game, dark RPG styled UI is your choice. D&D Beyond is a favorite to many and you can bring a similar character sheet experience to Foundry with D&D Beyond character sheet for 5e. And lastly, if you want to fully link your resource trackers and features, item uses, etc., use Link Item and Resource D&D 5e. With the above module options, you'll be able to take your Foundry VTT character sheets to the next level and impress your players while you're at it. Which character sheet are you going to use? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts on these modules. And while you're down there, I would kindly ask you to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Those small acts from you help my video and channel reach more people, and that means the world to me. On the screen right now, you're going to see another video of mine where I show you how to import your characters from D&D Beyond over to Foundry VTT. All you need is a module and a browser plugin, and it doesn't cost you anything. Check it out. It's a good video, if I do say so myself. Thanks a lot for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.